And now a Target 12 Child Watch exclusive. I had to ask the school if we needed to find this kid bloodied and bludgeoned in the football field before someone was going to do something about this. This is cyberbullying, a growing threat to all of our kids. So is your child's school doing enough to stop cyberbullying? Target 12 Child Watch is digging for answers town by town. Here's Eyewitness News reporter John Moan with a look at how some local schools and the state are taking on cyberbullies. Bullies aren't just making kids miserable on the court, in the playground, or at school. They're now doing it with technology, like harassing text messages on the cell phone, or threatening emails, or lies posted on a website. Graham Field is a talented fashion designer, so good he won a national scholarship that's paying for part of his college education, but it almost didn't happen. When you're in high school, it's a tough place to be. Cyberbullying threatened his reputation, his happiness, even his safety. His mother says two years ago, a former friend of his created a website. The address, his name. The object, harassment and embarrassment. Just posting these really awful pictures, sexual innuendos, and just basic slurs against my son. When they were juniors at Tiverton High, the two had been in a fight before a fashion show. His mom says this was the friend's way of getting back at Graham. Everyone at school learned about it. You had additional harassment at the school because of what people believed or perceived what they had read. Graham expected a picture-perfect senior year. It descended into dread. After this happened, I'm going to cry. Okay. <laughs> After this happened, he would not get out of bed for a week. And misery. He had to go through, you know, went through multiple counselings, uh, you know, tried to hurt himself, seriously tried to hurt himself. We checked, and Tiverton High School still doesn't have a policy specifically addressing cyber threats, so we dug a little deeper to see if other schools are taking on cyber bullies. Target 12 Child Watch checked with schools across the state. We found Providence has a policy against cyberbullying, so does Woonsocket Middle School, but Newport, Cranston, and Warwick school handbooks do not mention cyber bullies. That's a problem. Attorney General Patrick Lynch helped introduce a cyberbullying bill to the state Senate last session, but it never went past the committee stage. There's an ever-increasing amount of people that are using those to communicate in what are playful ways but oftentimes in dangerous ways as well that are very hurtful. Trisha Field says it took a restraining order to finally get the hurtful website shut down, but the damage was done. Her son is still too distraught to talk about it. Even after two years, it's just so hurtful to my son that uh, he doesn't want to reopen the wounds and the pains of what he went through at that time. This mother wants to share her son's story because she wants other parents to know about cyberbullying. The State Department of Education is developing an internet safety program for kids, and you can expect more cyberbullying legislation to be reintroduced to the State House. With your Target 12 Child Watch, John Moan, Eyewitness News. We've got more information on cyberbullying, including some advice on how you can stop it. To get it, log on to our website, foxprovidence.com.